This bus goes all the way to the Santa Anita Mall, right? Yeah, it'll take us there. Are you positive? I always catch this bus. How long is this bus ride? Hmm, it, it only takes about a half an hour. Where do we get off at? We can get off the bus right behind Macy's. There's a stop right next to the mall? Yeah, it's right in the parking lot. That's cool. Yeah, I know. Does this bus really go to the mall? It goes all the way there. Are you sure? I know it does. I catch this bus a lot. How long does it take for the bus to get there? The bus ride is only 30 minutes or so. Where do we get off the bus? Right behind Macy's is a bus stop. The stop is really at the mall? It's in the middle of the parking lot. That's perfect. I know it is. Are you sure that this bus will take us to the Santa Anita Mall? Yes, it will. You know that for a fact? Yeah, I take this bus all the time. Is it a very long bus ride? It's about 30 minutes long. Do you know where we get off at? There's a bus stop right behind Macy's. Really? There's a bus stop right by the mall? There's a bus stop in the mall parking lot. That's convenient. Absolutely. I need to get on another bus, but I have no more money. Where'd the rest of your money for the bus go? I spent it on a bag of chips. Well, that was an intelligent thing to do. You don't have any spare change? No, I don't. How am I going to get home? You should just ask the bus driver for a transfer. How much does that cost? It's free. Just go ask for one. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. Just go ask. I'm broke and I have to catch another bus. Why don't you have any money for another bus? I got hungry and I bought some chips. That was smart. Anyways, do you have any change I can use for the bus? I don't have any. I don't know how I'm going to get home. You know, get a transfer from the bus driver. How much is a transfer? It doesn't cost anything. That's great. Thanks for your help. You know what? Don't mention it. I don't have any more cash and I have to get on another bus to get home. Why don't you have any more money? I wanted some chips at lunch today, so I spent it. That was a bright idea. I know. Do you have some change I can borrow? You know what? I don't have any change for you. I need to get home. Why don't you just ask the bus driver for a transfer? I don't have any money for a transfer. You know, go ask for a transfer. They're free. Really? Oh, I'm glad you let me know. You're welcome. Where is the bus? I think it's running late. It should have been here 30 minutes ago. It should be coming soon. It better, because I'm already late for work. I can't stand riding the bus. Me too. It's so unreliable. That is true. It's also horrible having to be at a bus stop in any kind of weather. Exactly. That's the worst part. I think it's time we started driving. Yes, I agree. When is the bus going to get here? It's obviously late. It was scheduled to be here about 30 minutes ago. I'm sure it'll be here in a little bit. I hope so, because I'm running really late for work. You know, I hate having to take the bus every day. So do I. You can never count on public transportation. Exactly. I really can't stand being at the bus stop in the heat and rain. I know what you mean. We're going to have to get a car of our own. I couldn't agree with you more. I want to get on the bus already. It just isn't on time today. It was supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. I think it'll be here pretty soon. I need to get to work, so it better. I really do hate public transportation. I agree. It's just never on time. That's right. I also hate having to stand at a bus stop in all kinds of weather. Oh, that's the worst. We need to get a car. I completely agree with that. Is this our bus stop? I think this is it. Get off. Dude, where are we at? I have no idea. I thought this was the right stop. It doesn't look right to me. Did you make us get off early? I think we did. I should not have listened to you. I really thought this was our stop. Now we have to walk. Maybe we should just wait for the next bus. I'm not sure. Is this our stop? Yeah, get off the bus. Do you have any idea where we are? I'm really not sure. This can't be the right stop. I don't think this is right. We got off too early, didn't we? Yeah, we did get off too early. I should have just stayed on the bus. I messed up. Great, we have to walk now. You want to wait for the next bus? Are we supposed to get off right here? I think so. Hurry up and get off. Where are we? I don't know. You said this was the right stop. I think I was wrong. Did we get off the bus too early? I don't know. It kind of looks like we did. Why did you tell me to get off? I'm sorry. I thought this was our stop. I really don't feel like walking. We could always wait for the next bus to come. I need to buy a bus pass. What kind of bus pass would you like to buy? What are the different kinds? You can get a day, a weekly, a monthly, or a student pass. Could I get a student pass, please? Sure. Can I see your student ID? Sure. Here it is. Very good. How much for the pass? It's free. For the monthly sticker, it's $24. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you for your purchase. You're welcome. 
I would like to get a bus pass. Do you know what kind of pass you want? Can you tell me my options? There are passes for a day, month, and week, and there are student passes. I'd like to get the student pass. Let me see your student ID. Here you go. Thank you very much. How much will it be for the pass? The monthly sticker is $24, but the actual pass is free. That'll be fine. We appreciate your business. Could I buy a bus pass today? Which bus pass would you like to purchase? What kind of passes are there? There are day passes, weekly passes, monthly passes, and student passes. Let me get a student pass. Could I see your student ID, please? No problem. Here you go. Thanks. How much does this pass cost? The pass is free. The monthly sticker costs $24. That's fine, then. I hope you enjoy your pass. Where do we get off at? I think we have a little ways to go. This bus ride is taking forever. I know. Did we miss our stop? I'm not sure. Didn't you say you knew where to get off the bus? I don't know. We may have missed our stop. Are you serious? Yeah, we did miss it. I can't catch the bus with you anymore. Sorry. Do you know which stop we get off at? We still have more to go, I think. We've been on this bus for a while now. You're right. Should we have gotten off the bus already? I don't think so. I thought you knew. Maybe we did miss our stop. Really? I'm positive that we missed our stop. I'm never catching the bus with you again. My mistake. When do we get off the bus? I think we have a while longer. I feel like we've been on this bus forever. That's true. Are you sure we weren't supposed to get off already? I don't know. I thought you knew where we get off at. I wasn't really paying attention. I think we missed our stop. Seriously? Yeah, we definitely missed our stop. That's the last time I get on a bus with you. My bad. Sorry. So, where is this bus supposed to take us? It should take us back up to Altadena. Well, don't you know for sure? I'm not really sure if it does or not. Are you sure we got on the right bus? I've never taken this bus, but I think it's the right one. This place doesn't look like Altadena. That's true, and we have been on this bus for a while. Read one of those street signs or something. Yikes, Temple City? That's the last time I'm trusting you with the transportation. My bad, but at least we know the right bus to take us back. Do you even know where this bus is supposed to go? It should take us all the way up to Altadena. Don't you know? I'm not positive if it does or not. Is this the right bus or not? I have never been on this bus, but I'm sure it's the right one. Where are we? This is not Altadena. I know, and we've been on the bus forever. Tell me what the street sign says. Oh my gosh, that one says Temple City. Next time, I'll look for the bus myself. Well, now I know the bus that'll take us back. Are you sure you know where this bus goes? It should go to Altadena. What do you mean, it should? I'm not completely sure if it really does. Dude, are we on the right bus? I'm almost positive that this is the right one. It doesn't look like we're on our way to Altadena. We have been riding this bus for a long time. What does that sign say? I think it says Temple City. Yeah, I'm never trusting you with the bus schedules again. I'm sorry, but at least we know which bus to catch to get back where we started. Yeah, at least. How much does it cost for a bus pass? It'll be $65 for a monthly pass. Is there anything cheaper than that? If you're in school, you can get a student pass. Well, I am. How much will that cost? The pass is free. I don't have to pay for anything? You'll only have to pay for the monthly sticker. How much is the monthly sticker? It's $24 for each month. I'll take the student bus pass. Okay, I will get you one. Can you tell me the price for a bus pass? It costs $65 to buy a monthly bus pass. Is there a cheaper bus pass? There are student passes. For how much? It doesn't cost anything for the pass. It's absolutely free? The monthly sticker costs you. How much is that? Each month, it'll cost $24 for a new sticker. Let me get the student bus pass. Let me go get it for you. How much for a bus pass? Well, for a monthly pass, it'll cost you $65. Is there anything else that doesn't cost as much? If you're a student, you can get a student bus pass. How much does a student pass cost? That actual bus pass is free. It doesn't cost anything? Uh, the only thing you'll have to pay for is the monthly sticker. Can you tell me how much that'll cost? It's only $24 a month. Sounds good. Let me get that. I'll get it for you right now. Hey, how's it going? Good. How about you? Not bad. Thanks for asking. Have you been on the bus for a while? Only about 15 minutes. Do you ride this bus often? Not really. I usually drive. You have a car? Yes, I do. So why aren't you driving it? Once our president lowers gas prices, I'll be driving again. Vroom, vroom. That's smart thinking. 
How are you doing? I'm pretty good, you? I'm awesome. How long have you been on the bus? I've been on here for like 15 minutes. Do you catch this bus a lot? Not much. I have a car. So you have your own car? I sure do. Then why are you on the bus with me? I'm waiting till our president gets out of office and the gas prices go down. That's good thinking. What's up? How are you? I'm splendid. How about yourself? Could be better. So have you been on the bus very long? I got on about 15 minutes ago. How often do you ride the bus? I usually drive. You have your own vehicle? Yes, I have my own car. So then why don't you drive it? I'm waiting for our president to lower the gas prices. Smart. Can you tell me what bus to catch from Altadena to downtown LA? You can catch the 486. That bus goes all the way to LA? I believe so. Is the bus ride long? It only takes 45 minutes to an hour. That's all? It's a pretty short trip. Now, is there always a lot of people on that bus? It only gets crowded once it gets to LA. Oh, okay. Thank you. No problem. Do you know a bus I can take from Altadena to downtown LA? I believe you can take the 486. Will that bus really take me to LA? It sure will. Is it a very long ride? It's a 45 minute to an hour ride. Really? It doesn't take long at all. Do a lot of people ride that bus? More people start getting on around LA. Wow, thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Is there a bus in Altadena that'll take me to downtown LA? The 486. The 486 really goes downtown? Yes, it does. How long is the bus ride? It's about 45 minutes to an hour. Is that right? Yeah, it's not that long of a trip. Is that a crowded bus? It starts getting more crowded the closer you get to LA. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Have you bought your bus pass yet? I didn't get it yet. Well, why not? I have no idea where to get it from. You should have just asked me. Well then, where do I get it? You can get it from the student business office. I didn't know that. I know you didn't. I appreciate you telling me. No problem. I'll make sure to get it tomorrow. Did you get your bus pass? I haven't gone to get it yet. Why haven't you got it? I don't know where to go to get one. I know where to go get them from. Where do I get it? They sell them at the business office on campus. I had no idea. I'm sure you did it. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'll buy it later on today. Did you go and buy your bus pass? No, I didn't. When are you going to go get it? I'm not sure where they sell bus passes at. Why didn't you just ask me? Where should I go? You can get one from Student Services. I had no clue that I could get it there. I already knew that. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. I'm going to go and get it right now. What bus can I catch to get to the gold line? Tell me where you live. I live in Altadena. You can catch the 264. It goes to the gold line? Yes, it does. What street do I go to catch it? You can catch an Altadena Drive. I had no idea that bus went to the station. Yes, it does. I'm glad you told me. You're welcome. Do you know a bus that goes to the gold line station? Do you live in Pasadena? My house is up in Altadena. You could always take the 264. It'll really take me to the station? It goes all the way there. Do you know what street it goes on? Catch it on Altadena Drive. I would have never known. Now you know. I appreciate you telling me. No problem. I need to find a bus that'll take me to the gold line. Where do you live? I live up in Altadena. The 264 will take you there. It goes all the way there? I know for a fact that it goes all the way to the station. What street would I catch it on? If you go to Altadena Drive, you can catch it there. I didn't know that bus went to the Gold Line station. Yep, it does. Well, thanks for letting me know. It was my pleasure. Do you know which bus will take me from PHS to Vaughn's? Which Vaughn's do you want to go to? It's on Fair Oaks and Orange Grove. You actually need to catch two buses. Okay, which one do I need to take? The first bus you need to get on is the 268. What do I do next? Once you get to Fair Oaks and Washington, get off. Then what should I do? You need to get on the 261. It goes all the way to Vaughn's. Is that it? That's it. Which bus should I take for PHS to Vons? Can you tell me which Vons you want to go to? I believe that it's on uh, Fair Oaks and Orange Grove. You'll have to catch two different buses to get there. Do you know which buses I need to take? The 268 is the first bus you need to catch. <laughs> what do I do after I get it on the 268? Get off when you get to Fair Oaks and Washington. Did what? Catch the 261 and get off at Vons. That's all? That's all you have to do. Is there a bus that'll go all the way to Vons from PHS? Where is this Vons located? The Vons on Fair Oaks and Orange Grove. You're going to need to take two buses to get to that Vons. Which buses will I have to take? First, you need to get on the 268 going west. And then what do I do? You need to get off from Fair Oaks and Washington. What's next? Get on the 261 and it'll take you the rest of the way to Vons. There's nothing else? That's all there is to it. I really need to find a bus that goes by PCC. 
Where do you need to catch this bus at? All the way up on Las Flores Drive and Fair Oaks. I can tell you what bus to catch, but you have to walk a little bit. Walking isn't a problem for me. The 267 stops at Altadena Drive and Fair Oaks. Which direction do I want? Get on the bus heading west. Do you know where I get off at? Del Mar and Hill. Thanks for letting me know, homegirl. No problem. Do you know which bus I can take to PCC? Tell me where you need to get on at. I live on Las Flores and Fair Oaks. If you don't mind walking, I know a bus you can take. I'm okay with walking. Walk all the way down Fair Oaks and catch the 267 on Altadena Drive. Do you know which direction it should be heading? You have to catch it going west. Which stop do I get off on? You need to get off on the corner of Del Mar and Hill. Thank you for telling me. It was my pleasure. I need to get to PCC, but I don't know which bus to catch. Where exactly are you coming from? I'm coming from Fair Oaks and Las Flores Drive in Altadena. Do you have a problem walking a little bit? I don't mind walking. If you walk down Fair Oaks to Altadena Drive, you can catch the 267. Tell me which direction it should be going. Make sure to catch it going west. Where do I get off? You get off on Del Mar and Hill. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Did you get your bus pass? I don't think I'm going to get one. Why not? It's just a waste of cash, man. Actually, it'll save you money. Oh, really? Yeah, because you can use your bus pass as many times as you want. Really? Yeah, and you never have to worry about scraping for change. <laughs> that sounds like a good deal. Yeah, so are you going to buy one? I will. Have you bought a bus pass yet? I'm not getting one. Why is that? It's cheaper if I don't buy one. Buying a bus pass will save you money. How do you figure that? There's no limit to how often you can use a bus pass. Really? Yeah, plus you don't have to use change for the bus anymore. I like that. You want to buy one now? I'm going to. You get your bus pass? I'm not going to buy one. You're not? I think it's a waste of money. It actually costs less if you have a bus pass. How is that? You can use it however many times you need to. Is that right? Yep, and you can keep the money in your pocket. That sounds nice. You should go get yours. Yeah, I think I will. I'm glad these batteries are on sale. I'm sorry, these batteries are not on sale. But that's what the ad said. I'm sorry, if you look at the ad again, you'll see that the other brand is on sale. Oh, you're right. I misread the ad. Yes, many people make that mistake. Well, you can't blame them. It's a confusing ad. You're right. Many ads are like that. Well, as long as I'm here. Just one second, and I'll get you the batteries that are on sale. It's about time these batteries went on sale. I'm sorry. These aren't on sale today. You're kidding me. The ad says they're on sale. Yes, the other brand of batteries is on sale. Oh, I see. I've got the wrong brand. Yes, it's an easy mistake to make. Well, the ad is written in a misleading way. I agree. It seems like all ads are meant to confuse you. Oh, well, it's not the first or last time. Hold on, and I'll get you the batteries that are on sale. You don't often find these batteries on sale. I'm not sure that these batteries are on sale today. But the ad says they're on sale. Yes, batteries are on sale, but not this brand. Well, what do you know? I picked up the wrong brand. Yes, several customers have made that mistake today. Well, like many ads, it's deliberately confusing. I couldn't agree more. They write ads just to get you into the store. Well, I should know better by now. If you can wait one minute, I'll bring you the batteries that are on sale. This is the first time I've seen these batteries on sale. I'm sorry, but they aren't on sale today. Well, look at the ad. The ad says they're on sale. Yes, the ad says that the other brand of batteries is on sale. Oh, yes. I misread the ad. Believe me, you're not the first person to make that mistake today. No wonder people make a mistake. The price is in big letters, and the brand is in tiny letters. You're right. You have to read an ad two or three times sometimes. Yes, you have to be careful with every ad you read. It's okay. I'll go get you the batteries that are on sale. These batteries should be on sale more often. I don't think these batteries are on sale. Look at the ad. It says they're on sale. You're right. 
batteries are on sale, but not this brand of batteries. Oh, I didn't pay attention to the brand name. Several people have misread that ad already today. People make the mistake because the ad is misleading. I agree with you. Ads can be very tricky. I don't know when I'll ever learn. No problem. I'll bring you the batteries that are on sale. I'll be right back. I would like to exchange this dress. You can exchange this dress with anything of the same value. Is there anything on sale today? I'm sorry. There are no sales today. Are dresses going to be on sale? Everything's going to be on sale next weekend. That's great. I'll wait. See you next weekend. Okay. I'll see you then. I want to exchange this dress. You can exchange it with anything of the same price. Are there any sales today? We're having a big sale next weekend, but nothing today. What's going to be on sale? Dresses, skirts, blouses, pantsuits. Everything will be on sale. That sounds great. I'll come back next weekend. Okay. Don't forget to bring your credit card. This dress doesn't fit correctly. No problem. Shop around until you find something you like. What's on sale today? If you can wait until next weekend, you can save some money. Do you know what's going to be on sale? You'll be happy to know that everything in the store will be on sale. Well, I won't miss that. I'll wait until next weekend. Great. Bring lots of cash so you can buy lots of things. I don't want to keep this dress. Just leave the dress with me while you find the one that you like. Do you have anything on sale today? Next weekend is our next sale date. Do you have any idea what's going to be on sale? Everything except the cash registers will be on sale. That sounds good. I'll see you next weekend. Okay. See you then. I've bought this dress back to exchange it. That's not a problem. Leave it with me and find something that you like. I was hoping you'd have something on sale today. We have nothing on sale today, but we're having a big sale next weekend. Is the sale going to include dresses? Everything you can see will be on sale. I like the sound of that. I'll just come back next weekend. The savings will be worth the short wait. See you next weekend. I need some flowers for my wife. It's her birthday. Very well. We have some fresh red roses. How much are the roses? Twenty dollars per dozen. That sounds like a good deal. Yes, they're on sale today. I'll take a dozen. Splendid. Will there be anything else? No, the roses will be fine. I'm sure your wife will love them. My wife's birthday is today. I need some flowers. We have lots of fresh red roses. How much do the roses cost? Twenty dollars a dozen. That sounds good. Last year I paid thirty dollars. Yes, you came here on the right day. They're on sale today. Give me a dozen. Very good. Would you like anything else? No, I'll just give her the roses and a card. She should be very pleased with these roses. I need to buy some flowers for my wife. Perhaps you'd be interested in red roses. What would the roses cost me? They're only twenty dollars a dozen. I like the sound of that. Yes, that is today's sale price. A dozen will be fine. Is there anything else you'd like to get? No, thank you. These roses should make your wife very happy. I want to buy some flowers for my wife's birthday. Red roses are always a popular gift for birthdays. What are the roses going for? They're only twenty dollars a dozen. That sounds nice and cheap. Yes, you're saving money because they're on sale today. Okay, give me the roses. Could I interest you in anything else? No, but thanks anyway. Your wife will be thrilled with the roses. It's my wife's birthday. I need to buy some flowers for her. Most women love red roses for their birthday. How much will the roses be? You can get a dozen for only twenty dollars. Now that's a price that I like. You're in luck today because the roses are on sale. Okay, I'll take the roses. Very good. Perhaps you'd like something else to go with the roses? No, the roses are good enough. Women love roses, so your wife will be very happy. I want to find an old music box. We have a great selection. What decade are you looking for? Do you have anything made in the 1920s? We have six. Do any of them have dancing figures? Actually, two of them have dancing figures. That's fantastic. I think I like this one. A good choice. I prefer that one myself. Now, is there any warranty with this? Oh no, I'm afraid not. These things are just too old to guarantee anything. I understand. Even if they break down, they're still works of art. Excuse me, I'm looking for an old music box. Any particular decade? Something made in the 20s would be nice. We had seven, but we sold one this morning. 
Are dancing figures a part of any of the boxes? You're in luck. Two of them have dancing figures. Oh, these are great. I think I'll take this one. Yes, that one is very nice. Now, does this come with a warranty? I'm sorry, but you just have to take your chances. That doesn't surprise me. Even if it doesn't work, it's a beautiful collectible. Pardon me, I need an old music box. Exactly how old a box do you want? Actually, I was thinking about something from the 1920s. We still have six left. Do any of the boxes have dancing figures? Dancing figures are quite popular. Two of the boxes have them. I love the dancing figures. I'll take this music box. Yes, I think you'll be very satisfied with that one. I was wondering, does this come with any kind of warranty? No, but if something goes wrong with it, I know someone who repairs these things. I was just hoping. It's amazing that these things still work as well as they do. Hello. I want to purchase an old music box. We have a good variety. What decade would you like? I was hoping I could find something made in the 20s. There are six on this table. I hope at least one of them has dancing figures. Many people like the dancing figures. Two of our boxes have the figures. So hard to choose. I think I'll take this one. That one will bring you many hours of pleasure. Mm. Does a warranty come with this music box? I'm sorry, but if it breaks down, you're on your own. I just thought I would ask. When you buy a Model T, you can't expect a warranty. I'm searching for an old music box. You came to the right place. Any particular decade? If you had a box made in the 20s, that would be nice. We just got one in yesterday, so now we have six. Would any of them have dancing figures? Yes, we still have two boxes left that have dancing figures. Oh, they're both so beautiful. Let me have this one, I think. That one truly is a beautiful piece of work, isn't it? One last question. Do you provide a warranty with the box? Oh, no. Everything we sell here is as is. I guess I was asking for too much. If it breaks down, maybe you can find a repairman on the internet. I am looking for a pan. No problem. What size would you like? A big one would be nice. How about this one? It's our biggest, 16 inches in diameter. Oh, yes. I like that one. But it's too heavy. Okay. Try this one. It's made of aluminum. Oh, yes. This is much better. But it has an aluminum handle. Here you go. Same pan, but with a state-of-the-art, heat-resistant plastic handle. Yes. That's perfect. I'll take it. Great. Will that be cash or charge? Oh. Wait a minute. What about a lid for the pan? I'm sorry. I forgot to show you the lid. It comes with the pan. I need a pan. Okay. Do you have a particular size in mind? Well, the bigger the better, I think. Look at this one. It's our biggest pan. Yes, that is big enough, but it's too heavy for me. Okay. We have the same thing in aluminum. Ooh, this is nice and light, but it has an aluminum handle. Try this one. Same aluminum pan, but with a heat-resistant bamboo handle. Oh, yes. This is very nice. I'll take this one. That's a good choice. How do you want to pay for it? Uh, cash. Oh, I almost forgot. I need a lid, too. Oh, I'm so sorry. A lid comes with a pan. Here it is. I'd like to purchase a pan. Is there any particular size that you want? Well, I cook a lot of big meals. What do you think of this one? It's a 16-inch pan. Yes, that's the right size, but it's so heavy. Well, look at our aluminum pan. It's much lighter. Yes, this is very light, but the handle is also aluminum. No problem. Look at this one. Same pan, but with a lightweight wooden handle. Great. This is exactly what I was looking for. I'll buy it. I think you'll love this pan. Do you want to pay with cash? Yes. Oh, wait a second, please. What about a lid? I'm sorry. I forgot to show it to you. Here it is. It comes with the pan. Can you help me find a pan? Are you looking for a small, medium, or large pan? I want a big pan. Does this one look big enough? Yes. It's the right size, but it weighs too much. Well, what do you think of the aluminum pan? It's light enough, but the handle will get too hot after cooking. Here's the same pan, but it has a space-age, heat-resistant plastic handle. Oh, my family's going to love this one. I'll take it. I'm so happy that you found what you wanted. Do you want to use a credit card? Sure. Wait, wait, wait. Does a lid come with this pan? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's the lid. Yes, it comes with the pan. I'm looking for a pan I can use in my kitchen. What size pan were you thinking of? I've already got a small pan. I need a big one. Well, this one might work for you. Oh, no, that's way too heavy a pan for me. Here, lift this aluminum pan. It's the same size. Yes, it's very lightweight, but I don't want this aluminum handle. Here's a similar aluminum pan, but it has a heat-resistant handle. 
Oh, this feels very nice. It's perfect. I'll take it. I knew we'd find the right pan sooner or later. How would you like to pay? Cash. But first, I need a lid for this pan. Oh, no problem. Here's the lid that comes with the pan. Can you tell me where the produce is? It's in aisle A. Do you know what produce is on sale? I don't know. Check the flyer or check with the produce person. Where is the produce? It's on the south wall of the store in aisle A. Is there any produce on sale? I don't know. The produce person can tell you, though. Where can I find the produce? Aisle A is where you'll find all the produce. What sales do they have today? I'm sure something is on sale. Please check with the produce person. Which aisle has the produce? Aisle A is where you'll find all the produce. Are cherries on sale today? I don't know, but I'm sure the produce person can tell you. I'm looking for the produce section, please. All of the produce is in aisle A. Are bananas on sale today? Here you go. Look in this flyer or check with the produce person. I'm looking for some fresh produce that's on sale. Well, we just got in some mangoes. Mangoes? What are they? Well, it's a fruit with a big nut in it. Can you eat the nut? No, you peel off the skin and throw out the nut. How much are they? Well, the sale price is one dollar each. What does a mango taste like? They're like a citrus fruit. How do I know if it's ripe? You can buy them hard, wait a few days for them to develop a soft feel. Where do they come from? Most of them in the store are from Mexico. Can you direct me to some fresh produce that's on sale? Well, we've got some great mangoes on sale. Mangoes? What are mangoes? Well, it's a fruit with a big seed in it. Can you eat the seed? No. Peel the skin with a sharp knife and throw out the seed. Well, how much are they? Well, they're on sale today for only one dollar each. Can you describe their taste? They usually taste sweet, but they remind me of an orange. How can I tell if they're ripe? You can buy them either ripe or unripe. Unripe ones are hard. Where do they grow mangoes? The ones that are on sale are from Central America. Where is some fresh produce that's on sale? Well, I think you'll like the mangoes. I've never had a mango. It's a fruit. It has a big stone in it. Can you eat the stone? No. You would break all your teeth on it. How much are these mangoes? The sale price today is one dollar each. Can you describe their taste? They usually taste sweet, but they remind me of an orange. How can I tell if they're ripe? Don't cut into them until you can feel that they're soft on the outside. What country produces them? They come from tropical countries. Can you tell me about some good deals on produce? The mangoes are on sale today. What exactly are mangoes? They have yellowish red skin. It's a fruit with one big seed. Is the seed edible? Maybe if you were a parrot, I wouldn't recommend it. How much does a mango cost? Normally, they're two dollars each. Today, they're only one dollar each. Maybe I won't like the taste. It's hard to describe. They're sweet, but also sort of citrusy. How do I tell the difference between a ripe one and an unripe one? They're similar to an avocado. When the outside feels soft, they're ripe. Where do most of them come from? These are from Mexico. Hi, I'm looking for some good deals on produce. You might want to try the mangoes. Can you describe a mango to me? It's a fruit, a little smaller than a grapefruit. It has a big seed in it. Do I eat the seed? Maybe some animals eat the seed, but humans don't. You'd have to soak it for ten years. What's the price of these mangoes? Today you get a fifty percent discount. They're only one dollar each. Tell me what they taste like. Their flesh is soft and juicy. It has a citrus taste. It's sweet. Do I need to buy them ripe, or will they ripen at home? Just press into it gently with your thumb. If it feels soft, it's ready to eat. Where do mangoes come from? These are from Guatemala, but we're going to start getting mangoes from India. Hello, I would like to buy some business cards. Excellent. How many would you like? Two thousand would be fine. You need to fill out this form, please. All I want is the same thing on this card. That will be no problem, sir. Okay, I'm finished. Here's your form and my old card. Very good, sir. Your order will be ready in one week. Do you think you could finish it in three days? No problem, sir. But it will cost you extra. I need to purchase some business cards. No problem. How many are you thinking about? I think two thousand would be fine. If you'll just fill out this form, please. I want the new cards to be exactly like this card. We can do that very easily. Okay, I'm done. Here's the form and my old card. Great.
Your order will take only one week. You know, I think it would be better if I could pick it up in three days. We can do that. It'll just cost you extra. I need to get some business cards printed up. Do you know how many you need? I think I can get by with 2,000. We can get started as soon as you fill out this form. I hope you can make the new cards just like my old cards. You won't be able to tell the difference with the magnifying glass. Okay, I'm through. Here's the form and my old card. Very good. You can pick up your order in one week. Now that I think of it, three days is better than seven. We can do that, but you'll have to pay a little extra. I need to order new business cards. Do you have any idea how many you like? I think 2,000 would be enough. Would you fill out this form, please? I don't want to make any changes to my old card. If you detect any difference, I'll take you out to dinner. Okay, that's it. Here's the form, and here's my old card to use as a model. Thank you. Your order will be ready seven days from now. I need it sooner. Let me have it in three days, okay? We can certainly give you a faster turnaround, but it will cost you extra. I'm about to run out of business cards. I need some new ones. We can print as many as you like. Just tell me how many. 2,000 should get me through the year. Here's a form to get you started. My old card is perfect, so all I want you to do is copy it exactly. I think you'll be very pleased with how well we duplicate your old card. Here you go. Your form and my old business card. Thanks. Come back here next Wednesday to pick up your order, please. I'm sorry, but can you give me a three-day turnaround? If you don't mind paying a little extra, it's absolutely no problem. Do you know where I can find old music boxes? You could try shopping on a flea market. What's that? I've never heard of such a thing. A flea market is an outdoor place where people sell all kinds of used stuff. Okay, where can I find one? Well, you can check the local paper or search flea market online. Where can I find old music boxes? Have you tried a flea market? What's a flea market? A flea market is like an outdoor thrift shop. That sounds promising. Is there one nearby? Flea markets occur weekly or monthly in various neighborhoods. Check online or in a local paper. Do you know where they sell old music boxes? How about a flea market? A flea market? What's that? A flea market is a big outdoor place where you can buy all sorts of secondhand things. I like the sound of that. Tell me where one is. I myself don't know of any, but maybe they're listed in the yellow pages. Do you have any idea where I can buy old music boxes? You can find almost anything at a flea market. What in the world is a flea market? A flea market sells all kinds of used things, some that you've never even heard of. Great. Is there one near here? Actually, our local community college has one on the first Sunday of each month. I'm looking for old music boxes, but I can't find any. If you go to a flea market, you can find all kinds of things. I don't want a music box that's full of fleas. Ha! <laughs> a flea market is a popular outdoor place for selling used things. There are no fleas. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Where is the nearest one? Actually, there's a huge flea market at the stadium of the second Sunday of each month. I need to find a new furniture set for my living room. Where are you going to find one? I have no idea. Do you want to know where I bought mine? Where'd you get it from? I got it from Ikea. How much did it cost you? It cost me a couple thousand for the whole set. Is the furniture sturdy? The furniture is built extremely well. I don't mind paying a lot as long as the quality is good. Well, trust me, the quality is fantastic. I'm going to buy a new living room set. Where are you going to buy one? I'm really not sure. You like my living room set, don't you? Where did you buy it? I found mine at Ikea. Are they expensive? Everything I got from Ikea cost me a couple thousand. Is the furniture crafted well? The furniture isn't built cheap. I'll pay the money as long as I'm getting what I pay for. You will feel comfortable paying the money. I have to find a living room set. Where are you planning on looking for one? I don't know. I could tell you where I got mine. Where did you go to find yours? Ikea has beautiful furniture. Does the furniture from Ikea cost a lot? The furniture costs a couple thousand dollars. How good of quality is the furniture? It's very sturdy. You get what you pay for. I don't mind paying for quality workmanship. I assure you that you're paying for quality. Can I help you find something? I would like to buy a new fridge. Is there one in particular that you like? I was looking at this Kenmore refrigerator. Ah, uh, yes. That is a great refrigerator. What's so great about it? It's both affordable and it comes with all the appliances. What appliances? It comes with an ice maker, water dispenser, and there's a lot of room inside. May I see the inside for myself? Be my guest. Wow, you're right. The refrigerator is great. I'll take it. 
Do you need help with something? I need help finding a new refrigerator. Do you see anything that you like? That Kenmore looks nice. That is a wonderful choice. What makes it so great? It's very inexpensive, and it has all the appliances. What appliances are you talking about? The fridge and the freezer is very spacious, and it also has an ice maker and water dispenser. May I take a look inside? Take a look inside. It's very nice. I'd like to purchase this refrigerator. What can I do for you today? I need to buy a new refrigerator today. Were you looking at a particular refrigerator? I like that Kenmore refrigerator. This particular refrigerator is a very good choice. Tell me about it. Not only is it affordable, but it comes with all the appliances. What are the appliances? It has an ice maker, water dispenser, and plenty of room on the inside. I'd like to see it for myself. Go right ahead. I like what I see. What are you calling about today? I scheduled a delivery for tomorrow. Is there a problem? I would like to reschedule. That shouldn't be a problem. Can I have it delivered the day after tomorrow? So you want it delivered the day after tomorrow? Yes. Will that be possible? What time would you like us to deliver it? Is 2:30 okay? Your delivery has been confirmed. Thank you. I'm sorry for the change of plans. How may I help you? I was going to have a mattress delivered to my house. What's the problem? I need to have it delivered another day. That won't be a problem. I need to have it delivered two days from today. You want it delivered in two days? Is that okay? What time do you want it delivered? I would like it delivered at 2:30. I have changed your delivery to that day and time. Thank you for your help. What can I do for you? I was supposed to have my mattress delivered tomorrow. Is something wrong? I need to reschedule the delivery. I can help you with that. I won't be home tomorrow, so I need it done the next day. In two days? Yes, that's when I need it done. At what time? I need it at about 2:30. All right, you're all set with your delivery. That's great. I appreciate your help. What are you working on? I'm figuring out my budget. What budget? I'm making a shopping budget so that I don't spend too much money. How much money can you spend? I can only spend three hundred dollars a month. Why only three hundred? I need to save the rest. For what? I need to pay my bills. Your budget is a good idea. I know it's going to save me a lot of money. I hope. What are you trying to do? I'm working on a budget. What kind of budget? I need to budget my shopping so that I don't spend all my money. What's your budget? I can spend about three hundred dollars per month. Why so little? The rest of my money needs to be saved. What do you need to save up for? I need to pay my bills, silly. You're wise for saving your money. I think it's just common sense. What are you doing?、Mm, I'm trying to figure out my budget. What do you need a budget for? I need to put a limit on my spending. What's your spending limit? I'm only allowed to spend three hundred dollars each month. That's not much. Because I need to save the rest of my money. What are you saving for? I have bills to pay for too. It's good that you're being smart with your money. It's about time that I started being smart. Mm, what can I help you with today? My washing machine isn't working. What's the problem? The water will not drain. Is there anything else wrong with it? No, that's it.、Uh, I can come down and fix that for you if you'd like. When will you be able to fix it? How does this afternoon at two thirty sound to you? That would be perfect. All right, so I'll see you then. See you then. How may I help you? Something is wrong with my washing machine. Tell me the problem. For some reason, the water won't drain. That's the only problem with it. That's the only problem. Would you like me to come fix it for you? Yes. When can you come fix it? I can be there by two thirty today. That would be great. I'll see you at two thirty. See you later. Thanks a lot. Did you need help with something? Yes. I'm having a problem with my washing machine. What is wrong with it? The water isn't draining from it. Is that the only problem? Yes. Everything else is working fine. I'm available if you'd like me to come fix it. When exactly are you free? I can come at two thirty this afternoon. Sounds good to me. I'll see you this afternoon. Yes. Thank you. I'm planning on going to the market soon. What are you buying? I don't know what we need. I can check for you if you'd like. I'll make a list. First, we need eggs, milk, and bread. Okay. Do we need any meat? How about some chicken, ground beef, and some steak? Mmm. What else do we need? Get some snack foods too, dude. Is there anything else that we need? No, but if you think of anything else, just get it. I need to go to the market. Do you know what to get? I'm not sure what to get. I'll go check for you. Tell me what we need, and I'll write a list. We need the basics like eggs, milk, and bread. Oh,、uh, what kind of meat do we need? You should buy some steak, some chicken, and、uh, ground beef.、Uh, do we need anything else? Why don't you get some snacks? Can you think of anything else? Get whatever else that you need. I'm going to the market in a little bit. Really? What are you going to get? Do you know what we need to get? Would you like me to check? All right, 
I'll write everything down. You need to buy bread, eggs, and milk. Should I get some meat? Uh, yes. Get some chicken, ground beef, and steak. What else? Mm, we can also use some snack foods. You can't think of anything else? You can get whatever else you want. I am really interested in buying this television. That's so great! How much are you selling it for? This TV is only $2,500. You can't be serious. Uh, that's how much this TV costs. That's too expensive for me. Well, this television is a very high quality. You can't go down on the price? Um, buy how much? I'll buy it for $2,000. I'm sorry, but the price is final. I would love to buy this TV. Fantastic. What's the price for it? This television on sale for $2,500. Seriously? That's the price. That's way too much for me. That is actually very inexpensive for this television. You're on crack. Could you lower the price some? How much are you talking? Uh, 2000 is as high as I'll go. I'm very sorry, but 2500 is the final price. I want to purchase this television. I am glad to hear that. How much does that cost? I'm selling it for 2500 That can't be right. That's the going price for that particular TV, my friend. I can't afford that. This is a very high quality television. I would buy it if the price was lowered. How much lower? How about you sell it to me for $2,000? 2500 is as low as I'll go. I have a problem. What's the problem? My mattress was supposed to be delivered today. Is there a problem? Uh, the delivery people showed up four hours late. I apologize for their tardiness. I was late for work because of them. Again, I do apologize for the inconvenience. I want my money back for the delivery. Seeing as they were late, that won't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to refund your money right now. I'm having a problem. What can I help you with? I was supposed to have my mattress delivered today. Was there a problem with the delivery, sir? Delivery people were four hours late. Oh, I do apologize. Since I had to wait for them... I was late for work. I am really sorry about that. I need my money back. I can do that for you. That won't be a problem. I know it shouldn't be a problem. I'm getting your money right now. I have an issue. What is it? I had scheduled a delivery for today. So what is the problem? The delivery was four hours late. I'm so sorry for them being late. I was late for work because I had to wait up for them. I do apologize. I would like to be refunded my money for the delivery. You'll be refunded for the delivery. It'll be no problem. I shouldn't have to pay for such horrible service. I'll refund you your money right away. How may I help you? I'd like to return an item. What are you returning? I want to return the cell phone. Is there a problem? It's broken. What exactly is wrong with it? The phone turns off by itself. That's fine, but do you have your receipt with you? Yes, here it is. I'll refund your money right now. Thank you so much. How can I help you today? I am returning something that I bought yesterday. What would you like to return? I'm returning a cell phone. Was there something wrong with it? It's defective. What isn't working on it? It keeps turning off on its own. Oh, all right. Do you have the receipt? I have it right here. I'm going to take care of this and refund you your money. Thanks for your help. What can I do for you? I need to return something. What do you need to return? I need to return this cell phone that I bought. What is wrong with it? It isn't working properly. Mm, what is the problem with it? For some reason, the phone cuts off by itself. I see. And do you have your receipt? Here you go. I'll take care of this right now. I appreciate your help. Thank you for purchasing your new mattress with us. No. Thank you. Would you like us to deliver the mattress for you, sir? That would be great. When do you want it delivered? I need it delivered tomorrow. Will that be possible? What time exactly? I need it delivered at 12 o'clock. We can have it to you at that time. Ah, uh, that's not a problem? No. We will deliver your mattress tomorrow at 12 o'clock. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you for your purchase. No problem. Would you like your mattress delivered? I would like that. When would you like us to deliver it? Can you deliver it uh, tomorrow? <gasps> At what time? Uh, is 12 p.m. okay? We can do that. Are you sure? We will deliver it at that time. Perfect. See you then. Thank you for shopping here. You're very welcome. Would you like to have your mattress delivered to your home? That would be perfect. Thank you. When would you like it to be delivered? I would like it delivered tomorrow. What time would you like it delivered? Yeah, it would, uh, I would like it delivered at noon. That is fine. So, that won't be a problem? We'll have it to you at 12 p.m. tomorrow. That's great. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm just shopping. What are you shopping for? Some new clothes. How about you? Same here. Have you found anything nice yet? 
I found a few pairs of pants. Where'd you get those? I found them at JCPenney's. Those are really cute. Do you want me to show you where I found them? I would like that. Thank you. What are you doing here today? I felt like doing some shopping. What are you going to buy? I need some new clothes. What about you? I'm trying to find some clothes myself. Have you found anything that you like? I got a new pair of pants. Those are cute. Where'd you get them? I bought them at JCPenney's. I really like those. I'll show you where to get them at. That would be great. <laughs> Funny seeing you here. I'm doing a little bit of shopping. What are you looking for? I'm looking for new clothes. How about you? <laughs> yeah, duh. I'm shopping for clothes, too. What have you bought so far? I got these new pants. Where'd you find those at? I got them at JCPenney's. Those are beautiful. I can show you where to find them, girl, if you'd like. Sure. Thanks a lot. I want to go try on these clothes. What did you find? I found some jeans and a new blouse. Go and try it on. What do you think? I love that shirt on you. What about the jeans? They don't really fit right. I don't think so either. That blouse is absolutely wonderful on you, though. Well, I'll just buy the shirt. That would be a good idea. I need to try these clothes on. What are you going to try on? I just found some jeans and a top. Try it on. How do I look in this? That shirt looks great. How do these jeans look? They don't look nice on you. I don't like them either. I just like that shirt. I'm just going to buy the shirt then. Good, because those pants are ugly. Whoa. I'm going to go try these on in the dressing room. What clothes did you find? I'm just trying on a pair of jeans and a shirt. Well, then go try them on. All right. How do I look? You look great in that shirt. What do you think of these jeans? I don't like how those look. I really don't think they look good. That shirt looks great, though. I guess I'm just going to buy the shirt. That would be wise. I need to have my computer fixed. What's the problem? I think it has a virus. Did you buy your computer from us? Yes, I bought it from your store. Did you get the warranty on your computer? Yes, I got the warranty. My computer is showing that the warranty you bought is expired. You can't be serious. You're going to have to pay to have your computer fixed. How much is it going to cost? It's going to be about $120. Dun, dun, dun. I need you to fix my computer. What problems are you having with it? There is a virus on my computer. Oh, my. Did you get your computer from our store? I purchased my computer from your store. Did you buy the warranty for your computer? I did purchase the warranty. Your warranty apparently expired two months ago. Is that right? It's going to cost uh, you for us to fix your computer. How much? To fix your computer, it's going to cost you about $120. Can you fix my computer? What's wrong with it? I believe that it has a virus. Where did you get your computer? From us? Yes, I did. Did you purchase a warranty for the computer? I believe that I purchased the warranty. Hmm, our records are showing that your warranty expired last month. Oh, pickles, I don't believe it. I'm sorry, but it is going to cost you to get your computer fixed. How much will it cost me? It'll run you about $120. I really need to go shopping. What do you need to buy? I need to look for a new bedroom set. Where are you going to go look for one? I have absolutely no idea. You don't know where you want to look for one? No, I'm not sure where they sell nice bedroom sets. Do you want to know where I got mine from? Yes, because I love yours. I purchased mine from Ikea. Is Ikea affordable? Not at all. But you get what you pay for. I have to do some shopping. What are you going to look for? I'm trying to buy a new bedroom set. What store are you going to go to? I'm not sure. You don't know? I have no idea where to find one. Would you like me to tell you where I got mine? I would appreciate that. I went to get mine from Ikea. Is the furniture at Ikea cheap? They're not cheap, but neither is their furniture. I'm going to have to do some shopping today. Oh, yeah? What do you need to go shopping for? I want to find a new bedroom set. Do you know where you're going to find your bedroom set? I have no clue. There's no particular place that you would want to look at? I don't know where to go and find a nice bedroom set. I can tell you where I got mine, if you'd like. Please do. I bought mine from Ikea. Are the bedroom sets at Ikea affordable? Not really, but you're paying for quality.